I'm Ryan Clayton, field agronomist with DuPont Pioneer, and today we're out at the field and we're going to identify um, Japanese beetles. And we're also going to talk a little bit about economic threshold for treatment on Japanese beetles and show some damage or some feeding symptoms in the field. The first thing we need to do is identify the Japanese beetle. There's a couple other uh, related or similar pests, the sand chafer, the June beetle, and also the mast chafer. Um, and for identifying the, the Japanese beetle, one of the key characteristics is not only the greenish uh, shiny coat on its back along with the copper coat, but the, uh, the white tufts of hair you see along the side of, of the beetle. That's a key identifying factor for the Japanese beetle. When you're in the field scouting for the Japanese beetles, at this time of year when we've reached flowering and we've got silk emergence, a lot of times they, they have migrated down the plant and are feeding on the silks, or sometimes when they get into mating season, you'll have to lift the silks. And here we find a cluster of, of mating Japanese beetles just underneath the silks. Uh, also, like I said, you can find them on the silks feeding. Um, earlier in the year, they're gonna be up in the upper part of the canopy feeding on, on the leaf foliage of the plants. Well, we're certainly concerned about uh, leaf or uh, silk clipping on Japanese beetles, but we also, like I mentioned before, earlier in the year, they will, before the silks come out, they'll feed on leaf foliage. And here you see some damage. We had a, a pretty high population of, of Japanese beetles in this particular field. And you can see the skeletalized tips of the leaves here in this area. There was there was clusters of Japanese beetles feeding on these leaves in this area. So this is what to look for uh, in terms of defoliation with this pest. So when we've identified Japanese beetle and we've, we've scouted the fields and we've seen the pest is present, now we have to figure out what the economic threshold or if treatment is warranted. For the most part on corn, the early feeding on the vegetative growth of the leaf feeding it, it takes a tremendous amount of damage to, to want to treat there. What we're really concerned about is when they start feeding it at reproductive stages or clipping silks. If we're at less than 50% pollinated plants, beetles are still present in feeding and we're, we're seeing the silks clip back to within an inch of the ear, that's when economic threshold has been reached and we need to consider a treatment option. And you check with your crop protection providers and find out which products are labeled for this pest and what rates and follow those labeled rates.